Hey everybody. All right. I am back. Um, I am still getting over a cough, so I apologize if you hear me coughing in this video or clearing my throat a lot. But I really wanted to get this video up for you guys. It's one of my most requested videos is to see my desk nook and what kind of things I have in it. Um, so I thought I'd do that now. It's never going to be as perfect as I want it to. So I figured I might as well do it now because otherwise I'm just... I'm just going to always feel like I'm missing a little piece to make it perfect or something. And, you know, we're stationary people. We love curating and organizing and making it look really nice. And it's just not going to happen. It's like a never-ending journey. So I thought I would give you a look at my area. I'm not going to go through everything, but I will give you an overview. So... I'm just going to jump right in. Here's my bookshelf. I keep a lot of my larger sketchbooks and my favorite, like, larger books down there. Um, that's one of my favorite thrifted finds is, <coughs> excuse me, see, the coughing, um, is that uh, cool box, uh, toolbox. It's metal, um, and I use that to carry a lot of my favorite things. That's another favorite find is a metal box. I love collecting metal boxes. Um, this used to hold 8 millimeter film. And uh, now I just use it for small notebooks and all that. So my um, like national parks passports in there. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm sorry. That's just going to happen. Um, but a lot of like all my travelers notebooks and my small notebooks are there. Some of my favorite books are up there. My awesome Lord of the Rings editions. And I love, I, I don't have a place for this, but I actually just got this. It's the Liz Climo, Climo? I don't know how to pronounce her last name. Um, illustrations. I love her animal illustrations. So I got the little desk calendar. Um, I get a lot of questions about my metal shelf. Uh used to belong to a guy who, who kept nails and bolts and all sorts of things. And um, a lot of it's been changed around so much that the labels aren't exactly where they should be. I could dedicate a whole video to this if you, um, if you really want me to. Half of the shelves are kind of empty at the bottom. Um, but And it does look like I have a lot of stuff based on what you see crammed into these little shelves but everything is just pulled forward so it's you know I'm not reaching in to grab something um so that's why it looks like I have a lot of stuff but really it's not it's just it's separated into their own category and then it's just pulled forward um these two are recent acquisitions little porg and my little cogsworth guy so thought those are fun this was really cute it got that at bath and body it was like a little dinosaur pouch it's the cutest little thing ever had to get it uh, my cool uh, vintage Coke crate, which I turned on its side to store all my washi. That is most of my washi, um, with the exception of this little metal thing that holds like random ones that don't fit. But that is pretty much it. I don't have anything else. Um, I guess that's still a lot for a lot of people, but um, it's enough for me. And some cool, like that's a dried tree fungi um, and I love library stamps I've got those I've had those for a while hopper is my favorite that's another recent acquisition this guy too this I found this thrifted love it love it love it um, decided to put that up I've had that for a while and I decided to just keep all my inks and vintage glass bottles and vials in there. Some lichen, moss, um, various things that I've had for a long time and over the years that quotes from Jane Austen. Um, my brother got that for me for Christmas. Um, Kaylee, uh, 
Firefly. If you guys are Firefly flan uh, fans out there, um, that was like the best gift ever. Um, this was a birthday gift to myself. I bought this at an antique shop in Eugene um, for a really good deal. So it's just card catalogs and um, in here I decided to store like all the stamps that I use on a like pretty much weekly basis. And then in here is just some like spare stickers and stuff. Um, so I love this box. It looks very classic-y like, but it's not. It's actually from Japan though. Um, and I found that for a really good deal at a thrift shop. Um, I always keep a pocket knife around now. Um, this one my brother gifted me over Christmas, Opinel. It's really, really um, popular in France, actually, because um, I follow a lot of uh, pencil people, and they use this these for sharpening their pencils. Um, I'm trying to think of like anything that I haven't explained to you in previous desk um, videos. This looks strange, but it's actually the part of a hammer. It's the actual hammer part, and it broke off on a camping trip. The last camping trip that I took with my brother before we moved from Wisconsin. Um, and, and you can see it, like, rusted over, and it, like, completely broke. I don't even know what we were doing with the hammer, but I think we were, like, hammering in a stake for the tent, and um, it broke off, and we all had a good laugh, but I just kept it because it was, like, a nice little paperweight with a story behind it, so... That was the camping trip before we moved from Wisconsin, and my writing box, my first one. Um, I love that. That's a piece that's like the letters. I don't know if you can see that, but you used to go on a door and you can put your post in there. And then, oh, this is the latest version of uh, Traveler's Times that I got at Kino Kania. Some Valentine's Day cards. I'm currently looking through this because I'm still working on my nature journal, and this is my latest writing box. Um, let me know if you guys want a tour of what I keep inside. This is like the travel version. It's smaller than this one, um, and it folds out um, in three parts, but it's just, it's so lovely. I love it. It's heavy, though, because it's solid wood. My blotter. I love this piece of pottery. That's also a thrifted item. I'm going to keep some more things that I use off in here. Um, this is actually like a crock thing for like butter. It actually has a second piece, but I took it out because I needed something to hold all the pencils that I'm using currently. And because um, if you've watched my videos, I'm in a pencil kick. All my traveler's notebook things are in here. So like spare inserts, um, extra folders. Um, I bought the new writing board so a passport size and the regular size are all in here so keep that in there um, in this metal box I just keep some spare field notes um, notebooks my mild liners my scissors <clears throat> I'm gonna have a little thing of scissors here so if you guys have any questions let me know I mean honestly I've explained most of this stuff before. I'm pretty sure in, on previous videos. This is one of my favorite pieces. Also thrifted. It's like a mini desk and it opens up and I keep charms and some extra clips and paper clips in there. So I love that. This I just I adore this piece um, just because it's a mini desk on a desk. So um, at the bottom I have my mod case. This is a metal box that I keep all my like larger papers and scrapbook papers. I've got a bag of like pins in here that I just don't know what to do with right now. So it's just a huge box of pins that I've collected. Um, the Ikea cart that everybody loves so much. I have my vintage uh, makeup case in here. Some extra pens and pencils. Cigar boxes. Um, the bottom ones die cuts. These two Maybe I'll make a separate video about that because that's like a special project. So these two are like things I'm collecting for a certain thing. Um, 
Oh, my, my friend made this for me for my birthday. How lovely is that? She actually stitched that, and I, I mean, I love bunnies, so that was so sweet of her. I love that, and I, I want to hang it up, but I haven't gotten around to it, so right now it's just kind of sitting right here, and I love that piece. Um, handmade gifts are the best, really. Um, books that I want to read are just kept here, so um, some spare notebooks, my Canon selfie printer. This uh, was a gift from my brother for my birthday because my I just recently had my birthday a few days ago and it is a whole set of the, ooh, I don't know how to pronounce it, Viarco Vintage Pencils. How lovely. So they're replicas of the pencils back in the day. So there are some that are labeled like 1950, 1951. Beautiful packaging. Love those. Just, I want to keep them out because they're so beautiful. Down below, I just kind of have things stacked uh, just because I don't really have room outside of this. So that basket's my garbage can, my sewing kit. That's like a hundred year old book right there. Um, and then this wooden drawer, I keep all my stationery empty. So I will be doing a video on that soon. That's the second part to my vintage makeup case. It actually sits on top of that piece right there. Frank Sinatra record. Um, sorry, it's dark. A vintage Yahtzee from the 1950s. This basket right here came from Target and it's just a $3 basket, but it's actually worked out perfectly because I keep all my bullet journal supplies in here. And it just sits in this basket down here. So whenever I need it, I just grab it. And then my mod case right there. So there we have it that's everything um i could get into uh, specifics but i really just wanted to give you an overview of what everything looks like just to i don't know have as a record for myself even too i really like the way i've decorated it um i really like of course i do i like the things that i've gotten uh for my corner um I spend a lot of time just trying to find things that really fit the aesthetic and I hope that if you just kind of take a glance at it you kind of know what I'm into um, you know old bottles and old things to match an old soul so uh, let me know if you have any questions I will try to answer them as best as I can I know I'm behind on YouTube comments um, I will get to them as soon as I can but I'm still getting over this cold and I've just been pretty busy lately, but uh, if you do have questions, uh, let me know or um, let me know on Instagram. That's the best way to reach me. I'm on Instagram all the time. It's pretty much the only social media that I keep up with uh, on a regular basis. So I hope this kind of, uh, you know, satiates your curiosity about my little corner and I hope you enjoyed watching. All right, thanks guys. Thank you so much for supporting my channel and being a subscriber and liking this video. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.